Hi everyone, we're in a series called How to Be a Healthier You. And today we're talking about how to improve your spiritual well-being. And we have with us today Matt Lampkin. And Matt's going to share some of his um, experiences with us. So Matt, would you just share with us, how would you describe what your spiritual life was like previously or earlier in your life? Uh... Well, I mean, like growing up, I was raised in, you know, church and everything, and it was more of a, you know, old school Pentecostal kind of deal, and it really wasn't more of the, none of the relationship around, you know, God really mattered. It was more of rules, regulations, and, you know, how to follow along and, you know, do what you're told. Um, but coming into Journey, you know, it's really made it definitely more, it's a, more about a relationship than it is. Um, just kind of for me then there's rules and what things you're supposed to follow. Talk a little bit more about how you would describe your spiritual life now then. Uh, I just I find myself reading my Bible more uh, more of putting asking God more things before I take a, try to take them on myself. It's where I really had a struggle for a long time. I didn't think I needed God or anything like that uh, but just especially here in the last year, just trying to really put my trust more in what he has in plan for me, more along the lines of trying to take care of it myself. I heard you say in the last year or so, what's different? What happened in the last year? Uh, just opening myself up more to, well, to be honest, just not trying to be so hard-headed, opening myself up more to actually listening and uh, just getting more in touch with who I am, you know, instead of trying to, you know, push down, you know, a lot of times life gets really tough and you want to just think you could just plow through it and it doesn't always, not always a healthy way to deal with things. So if you were to identify a couple of ways specifically that Jesus has impacted your spiritual life, what would they be? Uh, definitely I'm way more open to putting myself out there for other people. Um, just like even just having to hear what other people have to say, um, trying to identify people like that are in need or people who are ha having a hard time with things. A lot of times it was easy for me to ignore that. I was so caught up in myself. Um, and even like for me, just uh, putting forth time to do like church events and you know stuff like that I was never I just wanted to come to church on Sunday and then just go on with it but coming here it really has uh really opened my heart for Jesus want to you know be a part of my community and be a part of something more well there are people who have questions they're unsure about the whole spiritual thing what would you say to someone who was struggling with that Give it a try. I mean, you, you can't never, you can't deny anything that you don't that you don't try. I mean, I was like I said it. I hinted some in my past earlier, I, and then church hurt me a long time in my past. Um, you know, I was I would never say I was an atheist, but I was just I didn't want to believe in God. You know, uh, and then I just I gave up, stopped running. You know, you, you put yourself on the line for God and. He'll do the same for you. I appreciate so much that you're sharing with us how your spiritual life has progressed. It's encouraged the rest of us to do that too. Thanks, Matt. Yes, sir.